Welcome to the Tie Dyed Therapist. I'm your host, Richard Killian. And today we're going to explore the overlap between therapy and spirituality and how these two powerful forces can work together to promote healing and personal growth. So let's dive right in. First, let's define what we mean by therapy and spirituality. Therapy is a process. It's a process where individuals work with a trained professional to address emotional, mental, and behavioral issues. Spirituality, on the other hand, is a personal journey. This involves seeking meaning, purpose, connection with something greater than oneself. How exactly, though, does therapy and spirituality intersect? Many therapeutic approaches, such as mindfulness-based therapies and transpersonal psychology, incorporate spiritual practices and beliefs to enhance the healing process. These approaches recognize that our emotional and mental well-being is deeply connected to our spiritual health. When we integrate spirituality into therapy, it can have numerous benefits, such as, number one, providing a sense of purpose and meaning in life. Number two, enhancing self-awareness and personal growth. Three, strengthening coping skills and resilience. Four, deepening connections with others and the world around us. And finally, and probably the most important, it promotes forgiveness and compassion. Here are some examples of spiritual practices that can be incorporated into therapy. Mindfulness and meditation. These practices help individuals develop greater self-awareness and emotional regulation. Guided imagery. This technique involves using mental images to promote relaxation and healing. Journaling. Writing about one's thoughts and feelings can be a powerful tool for self-reflection and growth. Yoga and movement. Engaging in physical practices can help release tension and promote a sense of well-being. However, we do need to also consider a few more points when discussing this topic of spirituality and therapy. For many, there are different types of spiritual practices. There are many various practices that can be incorporated into therapy, such as prayer, journaling, yoga, and guided imagery. These practices help individuals connect with their inner self and promote relaxation, self-awareness, and emotional healing. So it's important for therapists to be willing to try various things in the therapy to incorporate these practices. However, it's also essential for therapists to be culturally sensitive when addressing spirituality and therapy. There are so many different cultures and religions. They each have unique perspectives on spirituality and understanding these differences can help therapists provide more effective and personalized care. There are some potential challenges when integrating spirituality and therapy. Some individuals may be hesitant to discuss their spiritual beliefs, while others may have experienced spiritual or religious trauma. Therapists should approach these topics with sensitivity and respect, ensuring that clients feel comfortable and supported throughout the process. Therapists need to take a client-centered approach whenever they attempt to incorporate spirituality into therapy. This means focusing on the client's unique spiritual beliefs and values, rather than imposing the therapist's own beliefs or practices onto somebody else. Also, there's a growing body of research supporting the integration of spirituality and therapy. Studies have shown that incorporating spiritual practices 
and principles into therapy can lead to improved mental health outcomes, increased resilience, and over and enhanced overall well-being. To conclude, I'd like to list several thought leaders and experts in the field of spirituality and therapy. Many of them have books that you could check out yourself to see if any of their concepts resonate with you. The first person on the list is Carl Jung. A Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst, Carl Jung was one of the pioneers in exploring the connection between spirituality and psychology. His work on the collective unconscious, archetypes, and the individuation process has greatly influenced the integration of spirituality and therapy. M. Scott Peck, an American psychiatrist and author. Peck is best known for his work, The Road Less Traveled, which explores the connection between spirituality, personal growth, and mental health. His work has been influential in promoting the integration of spiritual practices in psychotherapy. John Cabot Zinn, a professor of medicine and the creator of the Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction Program, otherwise known as MBSR. John Kabat-Zinn has been instrumental in bringing mindfulness and meditation into mainstream therapy. His work has helped bridge the gap between spirituality and mental health care. Marsha Linehan, a psychologist and the developer of the Dialectical Behavior Therapy, or DBT. Marsha Linehan has incorporated mindfulness and other spiritual practices into her therapeutic approach. DBT has proven effective in treating various mental health disorders, including borderline personality disorder and suicidal behavior. Finally, Ken Wilber, a philosopher and author. Ken Wilber has developed integral theory, which combines various psychological, spiritual, and philosophical perspectives into a comprehensive framework. His work has influenced the integration of spirituality and therapy in a more holistic manner. These thought leaders have contributed significantly to the understanding and integration of spirituality and therapy, helping to create a more holistic approach to mental health care. In conclusion, therapy and spirituality can work together to promote healing, personal growth, and a deeper understanding of oneself. By recognizing the connection between these two approaches, individuals can experience a more comprehensive and fulfilling path towards emotional and spiritual well-being. Thank you very much for listening today. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.